Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So today we have Erica, who's a coach here at Create Your Future. Hi, Erica. Hi, Amanda. How are you? I'm awesome. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. I'm happy to be here again. It's been a while, huh? <laughs> yes, it's been a while. But guess what? You've got a success story from one of your clients from us, don't you? I know. I'm so excited to share it. And I'm so excited for my client, too. So. No, it's amazing. It almost feels like we've manifested it when our clients are successful, right? <laughs> I know. Every time I get a success story, I'm like, I'm so happy. I'm like, I'm doing my happy dance. Like, I'm like, yes, <laughs> right. you did it. <laughs> It's like, oh, he loves us again. He loves us again. Yay. You know? <laughs> I know. It does feel good. It feels good for everybody when we all celebrate each other's success. And, you know, I think that's one thing that really, really, really brings and shines through with your coaching and makes you such a wonderful coach is that you want to help people and you enjoy their success. And, you know, the more successful they are, then you feel so much better and you feel successful. And, you know, and that's what it's about is helping people up to get that next step and celebrating their success with them. And, you know, and it feels like we're successful. So I love exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So let's hear her story. I know it's good. I've already heard it, but let's hear it again. <laughs> Everyone else wants to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start. So it says... Hey Erica, this email is one filled with gratitude and happen happiness. As I sit here and type this message out to you, I feel as though I've made Amanda, I made you and Amanda, but more impo importantly, me proud. Here's my, mo my, here's my much awaited success story that is a result of all the work I put in over the course of time. Just a few days after my second coaching session in the third quarter of January with you, I called up my SP just because I wanted to talk to him. What really played in my mind at that moment was whatever his reaction, I'll deal with because even if I don't like it, I can recreate it. He offered to meet and literally two and a half hours later, he was over at my place, Erica. I'll tell you, it was so beautiful. Just being in the company of each other felt all was good in the world again. And this is a feeling that he expressed that he has expressed to. Of course, he had to since he is me pushed out. The spark was alive. My affirmations, present and past, were fanning out just like I had imagined. Some scenes, even a replica of the new story I had told myself. And to top it off, the sense of positivity that continuously played in my mind caused a, caused a strong boost of confidence. The next day, I get an extremely unexpected gift from him a top of my favorite ice cream. This was completely out of the blue, Erica. Just before sleeping, I think to myself, wouldn't it be nice that my SP sent me a cute text in the middle of the night for me to wake, to wake up to? This is something he will do very often earlier. True enough, I wake up to a very sweet and long message from him in the next morning. He even told me that he, was, he has always loved me and never stopped loving me. He spoke about a future with me and on a different occasion mentioned that he has his eyes, he has eyes only for me and wants to be the perfect man for me. All these manifestations have been unfolding very easily and instantly because I finally understand that I am the one who creates my reality and I've been thoroughly enjoying it ever since. When you ask your clients to intend for better than imagined, honestly, it is true. The manifestation is far better than what was imagined. P.S. I think the whole breaking the big desire into smaller manifestation goals, as suggested in Amanda's video, really helped. Lots of love. <laughs> I well, love it. Isn't it wonderful? Yes, I love it. She's like, you know, she manifested him offering to meet her. And then two and a half hours later, he was over at her place. Like, ah, it just shows <laughs> this can be instant, right? It's like, you know. Right. I love it. Yeah. So like I always say, tell my clients, you are the creator of, of your own reality, right? So if you're the creator of your own reality, you're the one that can set rules. Like say like I manifest everything instantly and effortlessly, right? And you'll see it happening. And I think it's all about really believing in your power and believing that, you know, you are the creator of your own reality and you are the one setting the rules. And if everyone is you pushed out, right? 
Yeah. They're, they're going to reflect that confidence and like, you know, that you're the one that's creating everything and it will happen like this for you. Right. Exactly. Oh my goodness. Exactly. No, that's exactly it. And you know, and one thing that I really like that she said, and I think it's so important to end, um, you know, as in, and I know you agree with me on this is that, um, you know, not being scared of what shows up because everyone is us pushed out and no matter what shows up or how they react, we can change it. We can't be scared because anything that shows up is just our previous thoughts. And sure, you know what, we may not like it, but it was our previous thoughts to begin with. And it's not in stone. It can always be changed. You know, and I think the more that we just take it as feedback and we're not scared of it showing up, the quicker we just get through it, you know, like just the, the, you know, just, okay, fine. Okay, world, I'm ready. What do you have for me? Oh yeah, those are my old thoughts. Those are my old thoughts. Ooh, I was having a bad night that night because that's a really bad thought, but that's all people are reflecting back to us because they're us pushed out. So really, if we're scared of some, what someone's going to say to us, we're really just scared of our thoughts being reflected back to us. And if we're scared of what thoughts we're having, then we need to change them. Yeah, that's why I always tell my clients, like, circumstances, don't react to circumstances. What is showing up right now is just a reflection of the old way of thinking and feeling, right? So don't yeah. react to it, because if you react to it, you're kind of affirming something negative, and you create more of the same thing. So, so you're like, no, it's okay, that's just uh, an old reflection of how I used to think and feel in the past. Right now, I am choosing to create better for myself, and it will show up for me tomorrow right or right. in an hour whatever, you know whatever your belief is <laughs> like just do not react to the current circumstances that's just uh, a reflection of the old story the old way of thinking the old way of feeling yeah. right I like what you said there. It'll show up either now or whenever, whatever your belief is. And I think that's so important. One thing that I've always noticed about you, which makes you an amazing coach, is you never push your limiting beliefs on other people or what your beliefs on other on, on, on other people. You always allow them to create within their beliefs and let them know that they're creating within their beliefs. And that is truly an amazing trait because anything is possible. It's just a matter of what do you think is possible in your reality, right? Right. Yeah. So yeah. if it's your reality, you create your rules, right? I, I can tell you, you know, like, I don't want to uh, limit you with what I believe. I, I tell you, you are the one that's creating your reality. You set your own rules. You do your own techniques, you know, whatever works for you. Like I always tell my clients, like, for me, if I, I say an intention and I do this, for me doing this is like, oh, it's already happened, right? I believe that by, you know, snapping my fingers, it's like this energy that goes out into the world and I'm, I'm bringing whatever I want to me. So I'm like, do something that works for you, right? Because it's I love it. I, I tell my clients, I've been thinking about getting a Sailor Moon one. Ding. <laughs> right oh my goodness i'm gonna get one too let's do it let's do it i'm taking your idea sorry love it new, <laughs> new crop on the channel okay <laughs> we're gonna have right. like three ones right <laughs> so we're gonna or a she-ra sword i don't know maybe i'm there dating myself as too old but i am she-ra <laughs> <laughs> yeah whatever technique works for you it's your it's your world your reality your rules like so yeah, yeah do it go for it <laughs> yeah and, and that's and that's the, the, yeah that's the main reason why you're getting so many success stories is because you have that and you allow people to create within you know now one thing actually i wanted to ask you this question does come to me quite a bit and i never really have um an answer for it as far as spanish speaking so some people have come to me and said hey look at you know um you know it's the word I intend doesn't work translate into Spanish so you're Spanish speaking so everybody out there if you are speaking Spanish and you are looking for a Spanish speaking coach Erica is is your coach <laughs> what would you recommend that how they phrase that to um like of course we don't need to use the word I intend but if they wanted to do something similar or how do you phrase when I intend doesn't translate into Spanish I will say my intention is to get you know my specific person to commit to me or you just rephrase it. And like you said, you don't really have to use I intend. It's whatever works for you. For me, like I love using I am because I believe the words I am are extremely powerful and whatever follows I am, you know, is going to actually manifest in your life. So always speak 
really highly of yourself. I am the creative of my reality. I am very powerful. I am amazing. I am lovable. I am worth having anything I want, right? So everything that follows I am is super powerful. That's why you should never say like, oh, I am, I'm stupid. I'm ugly. Yeah. I'm, no, because. You even say it as an example. Say I am smart. I am brilliant. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> So that's why I think it's also very important to always watch what we say, right? Be 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 watchful of our words, our thoughts, and our feelings. They're all connected, right? Yeah. So be be really watchful of like what you're saying and you know attracting to you, right? Excellent. That's awesome. Well, thanks for answering that question. So you guys got it that asked me that question. It's I intend to, or even you know what. I am my more is, yeah, yeah, my intention yeah. is whatever, right? My intention is or use I am. Some people use I command, I demand, um, you know, or straight up sometimes I'm like, you know what's gonna happen? I'll tell you what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's like that <laughs> works too. As long as we're focusing on what we want, but yeah, so absolutely. Yeah, something amazing. else that she mentioned that I like is yeah. that she has to uh always like imagine better than, right? Mm, yeah. So yeah. like when you're trying to manifest a specific person, you can say, you know, like I, I really want, you know, him to be, you know, I don't know, to bring me flowers or whatever or say and or better than, right? You never know. Like Yeah, why not? That or I'll take even better, like send it on down, you know. <laughs> I like that too. You know, because you're opening it up, right? You're not just putting it in one little box because yeah, you know what you're, you know, we, we create these, you know, stories and the intentions got to get through there. This, yeah, no, this yeah. or better than, right. And then that leaves a whole other realm of possibilities open there. And, and who doesn't want better than even what we can think up because, you know, then next thing you know, something even better shows up and you're like, this is even perfect than what I thought. I've had that happen before. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> to always, 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 always try to attract better than, right, to yourself. Yeah, Why not? That's an excellent tip. Yeah. I intend for him to call me or even something better. You know, <laughs> next thing you know, he comes airlifting on some sort of helicopter in front of your house with a bunch of roses. <laughs> like, who knows, right? <laughs> Yeah, why not? And I always tell my clients to have fun with your intentions and your manifestations. This is about... Uh, the key to manifest what you want is really feeling confident and happy and like, yeah, like I have nothing to worry about. The the universe is already work, working on it. I have nothing to worry about. And, you know, go out, have fun, enjoy your life. And the more thankful you are for what you have right now, the more you open the gates of bringing more things to your life, right? Yeah. Gratitude. Ah, oh, totally, totally feeling good with what you have now and then you'll draw more in because if you don't feel good with what you have now you're just resisting your current reality and guess what you're gonna get more of it and you ain't gonna be happy so exactly. you know so everybody i highly recommend erica as a coach she's doing great things here i'll put the link in the description below definitely check it out sign up for some video coaching her spots go really really fast um, because everyone's getting success with her. So definitely check it out. And thank you guys for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. You're all amazing. And we'll see you later. Bye, Erica. Bye, Amanda. Bye, guys.